in this section i will be telling you about the rationale of the efficient market hypothesis so if we say that the market is in the stock market's price is always representative of all the available information with the investors with the participants of the financial market how does it actually operate so what is the story behind uh, fluctuations in the prices of the stocks and how it is determined and how there are fluctuations and how the extra profit if it if it is being earned by any of the investors um can can be wiped away and eventually the equilibrium is obtained so um suppose there is a common stock we are calling it abc and the normal return on that common stock is suppose 10% and the we are expecting that in the future the price of this particular common stock will go up and the price will be 50% so uh, if the investors come to know about this that the current price is lower as compared to the future price of that particular stock they will start buying more of it and as a result what will happen the price of that particular stock will start rising so when the when the price of that particular stock will start rising obviously the, uh, the return will start declining and then of the price will um, go up in the beginning but the return will start declining and eventually what happens that the uh, return become becomes equal to the optimal forecasted value of the return similarly um if the price of the current price of a certain stock is higher and it is expected that in future it is going to fall so then in this kind of a situation the investors will start selling that particular stock in order to make more profit because they are assuming that the current price is higher and in the future it is going to decline so as a result what will happen the price of that particular asset um will start because everybody wants to sell it wants to wants to get rid of it so as a result the price of the actual price of that particular asset instead of rising in the future will actually decline and we will obtain the equality between the current return and the optimal forecasted return and hence the equilibrium will be achieved so extra profit or extra opportunity of uh, getting um, extra money will will disappear because of these fluctuations so if there are um, if the current re return or the current price is low and the future price is expected to be higher or vice versa there would be buying and selling accordingly which can be summarized by the symbols which i have used and you can see that if we are we if we are saying that in future the optimal forecasted return will be higher than the equilibrium rate of return which you have estimated then what will happen the price will go up naturally everybody will start buying more and more of that particular stock and that will cause a greater demand for that stock and the price will go up when the price will go up the optimal forecasted return will decline similarly if the optimal forecasted return of a certain stock is assumed to be lower यानी कि फ्यूचर में रिटर्न कम होने वाला है और आपका जो इक्लिब्रियम रिटर्न आपने एस्टिमेट किया हुआ है कि इस पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक में इन्वेस्टमेंट से तकरीबन हमें 10 फीसद रिटर्न मिलेगा लेकिन आपको करंट सिचुएशन मार्केट के सिचुएशन उस पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक के पर्टेनिंग बहुत अच्छे नज़र नहीं आ रहे और आपको लग रहा है कि फ्यूचर में इसका रिटर्न जो है वो डिक्लाइन करने वाला है जितना हम एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे थे उतना नहीं मिलेगा तो दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग विल कॉज पैनिक among the investors or the people who are holding that stock and they will start selling that aur jab wo bechenge excess supply in the market hoga us particular stock ka to uska price decline ho jayega as can be seen by this arrow head you can see and as a result what will happen since the price will fall aapne dekha hai abhi humne formula discuss kiya tha to hamara jo optimal forecasted return hai that will go up so eventually what will happen this optimal forecasted return will become equal to the equilibrium level or the equilibrium ke liye jo humne expect kiya hua tha rate of return jisko hum r steric se represent kar rahe hain ye uske barabar ho jayega or eventually the equilibrium will be achieved so basically efficient market hypothesis kehti hai 
कि मार्केट जो है वो बहुत एफिशिएंटली ऑपरेट करती है और लेवल ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन या इंफॉर्मेशन क्विकली डिसमिनेट करता है अमंग ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ द फ्यूचर मार्केट तो कहीं भी किसी भी जगह पर जहाँ कहीं भी कोई अनएक्सप्लॉयटेड प्रॉफिट अपॉर्चुनिटी पड़ी भी है वो जैसे ही लोगों को पता चलता है वो फॉरन एलिमिनेट हो जाती है और इवेंचुअली आप देख सकते हैं कि आपका जो आर स्टेरिक है वो आर ऑप्टिमल फोरकास्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ द रिटर्न के बराबर हो जाता है और मार्केट क्लियर हो जाती है इसका मतलब है कि कोई भी इन्वेस्टर किसी भी तरह से बहुत ज़्यादा लंबे अरसे के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा प्रॉफिट्स किसी एक स्टॉक या सिक्योरिटी की बेसिस पे कमा नहीं सकता जैसे ही बाकी के पार्टिसिपेंट्स को पता चलता है कि इसकी कीमत फ्यूचर में कम होने वाली है या ज़्यादा होने वाली है वो उसके अकॉर्डिंगली बिहेव करते हैं और जो आपके एक्स्ट्रा नॉर्मल प्रॉफिट्स होती हैं वो फ़ौर एलिमिनेट हो जाती हैं और ये एक निशानी है या कैरेक्टरिस्टिक है एफिशेंट मार्केट की अगर हम फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रक्चर में देखें कि एफिशिएंट मार्केट्स हैं तो इसका मतलब है कि वहाँ जो भी फ्लक्चुएशन आ रही है या कोई एक इन्वेस्टर या ग्रुप ऑफ इन्वेस्टर बहुत लंबे अरसे के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा प्रॉफिट्स किसी एक स्टॉक के ऊपर अर्न नहीं कर सकता दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग विल बी एलिमिनेटेड क्विकली 